This video will cover the new features that Ferina 3.5.2 brings with it. This update will ease off the work of manually setting up timetable. It also gives you an option to customize the transfer certificate and generate numerous HR reports. The Advanced Payslip Reports option provides many predefined payslip reports that institutions can use for different purposes. Log in as an administrator or a privileged employee and open Human Resource module under Administration. Click on the option of Payroll and Payslip Management and you can find the new reports by the name Advanced Payslip Report. There are seven predefined reports which will show up. Let's check the payslip report. You can get the report for the selected pay period. Select the duration for which you want to get this report and click on view report button. You will get the report which can then be filtered by options like department, payroll group, etc. You can also add or remove the columns that you see in the report by clicking on customize columns link. You can select deselect the details which you want to see in the report. For example, under Columns heading, I have selected Show Total Options for Earnings, Deductions and Net Pay. After you save these settings, the same will be reflected in the report. You can download the report that you filtered and customize. If you want to get this customized report frequently, you can save these settings as a template. Enter the template name and you may change the settings if needed and then save the template. This template will show up under the Custom Reports option in Advanced Payslip Report link. You may edit or delete this template as per your requirement. Like this, you may set multiple templates and use them as and when required. Visit your Fedina Instance URL and log in as an administrator or a privileged employee. To get started, go to the dashboard and click Menu on the top left. Visit Human Resource, Settings, Payroll Settings. Now, you can choose between two modes of employee payroll calculation. Gross Pace Payroll Mode is the existing mode of salary calculation. If your institution has a single value like gross salary and other payroll categories depend on it directly or indirectly, use this method. Observe in this example that the basic is dependent on gross and the other components are dependent on basic or have a fixed value. Save the settings after selecting this and now when you assign a payroll group to an employee during admission or later, you can check that it asks you to put the gross salary and other data gets populated based on dependencies. Payslip generation process remains same thereafter. Let us see the other mode which is the new mode for salary calculation. It is useful for institutions where the payroll of an employee is directly or indirectly dependent on a couple of payroll categories. Observe in this example that the institution does not have a single value like gross salary on which all other payroll categories depend, instead has one or two like basic salary based on which all other categories are calculated. Save the settings after selecting this and now when you assign a payroll group to an employee during admission or later, you will be able to enter the values of the highlighted categories first and click on calculate to compute the values of the other categories. You can also change the value of a category and recalculate its dependent categories by clicking on the icon against the new value of the payroll category. The student attachment feature provides a repository to save documents related to a student. Log in as an admin or privileged employee and open the settings under administration. Open the link student document categories and you will notice two predefined categories by the name default and registration documents. Default category can be used to store any kind of document that the student tracks for the student. The registration documents will automatically take the documents saved from applicant registration module. Note that these categories cannot be deleted and will show up automatically for each student. You may create other categories if needed and the same will reflect for each student. Let us see where we can actually upload the documents for the student after we have set up these categories. Visit any student profile. 
Let's take example of the student with admission ID S74. Under the options of more, choose the option of student documents. Observe that all the categories as set by you in settings will appear here. Add documents under relevant headings. For each category you can add documents. Click on the add document option in front of the category you want to add documents in. Browse for the document and choose the file that you want to upload. For each file you upload, the size limit is restricted to 5 MB. Click on upload document button once selected. Edit option in front of the uploaded document will allow you to update the category of the document or rename it. You may also delete the document if it is required. This way you can upload multiple documents by visiting the profile of students. If the students log in, he can check the same documents and download them. Though he will not be able to upload or edit or delete these documents. In the continuous and comprehensive evaluation grading system, there are three new features that you can find. There is a new mode to select how co-scholastic remarks appear in the report card. There is a new detailed FA report which shows the marks for each descriptive indicator of the selected FA. And there is a new student-wise FA report which gives report cards for each selected FA. Let us see each of them in detail. Log in as an administrator or a privileged employee and open CCE settings. Click on the Co-Scholastic settings link and you can see the new option of Co-Scholastic remark setting. This is where you can choose between custom remarks for each student or auto-populate remarks from descriptive indicators. If you choose the option of auto-populate remarks from descriptive indicators, the remarks are auto-populated from the list of descriptive indicators in the observation. The indicators are sorted based on the marks from the highest to lowest. If you choose other option of choose from remarks set, the remarks that are entered in descriptive indicators page will show as a drop-down. This setting is reflected while you are entering marks for co-scholastic result. To see the detailed FA report, log in as an administrator or a privileged employee and open CCE reports. Click on the detailed FA report link. Let us select a sample course and the batch. The subject and FA group can be selected. Click view and the detailed report for the selected subject will show up. The same can be filtered by selecting the student category or gender. You can also take out a CSV report for the same. Now let us see the FA group report in student wise report. Log in as an admin or a privileged employee and open CCE reports. Click on the student wise report link which is an existing link. Let us select a sample batch and the term. You can now filter on the basis of FA group. On selecting FA group, the report shows the formative assessment details of all the subjects for the selected student. You can change the student from the list on the left. The report also gives you a graphical view of each subject for the student. This report can be taken out as a PDF report. The student or the guardian can also see the same report in their login. Another useful feature is the transfer certificate generator which allows the institution to create customized template and generate transfer certificates using this template. Let's take an example and understand how this works. Log in as an administrator or a privileged employee and open the module of transfer certificate under academics. To set a standard template, click on certificate template settings. You can preview the default transfer certificate by clicking on preview certificate on top right. You can customize the default template by editing the header, student details and signature or closes. To edit the header, click on edit button under header. If you do not want to generate the header and have your own header which can be used, the other option which is do not generate header leave blank space can be selected. In this case, enter the length of the space your sheets header is taking. 
Otherwise, you can select Use Header Template for Certificate option if you want Fedina to generate header. You can check or uncheck the information you want to show as part of the header. You can add extra fields as well by clicking on Add Additional Details, which will allow you to write more information. The color and size of this information can also be selected. You may also align these details to left, right or center. Logo can be aligned to left or right and you can edit the certificate heading and serial number can be auto-generated by setting a prefix and initial count. Issue date can also be renamed if needed or can be hidden by unchecking the box. These header preferences can then be saved and the preview will be shown at the end. Now, to edit student details, click on Edit button under Student Details. Eight fields come by default but can be edited or deleted. In editing, you can make it dependent on existing data or make it a custom field with some validation. You can also add new fields by clicking on Add Field button. If you want to specify subfields, click on the button besides Add Field button and then click on Add Subfield. It will ask you to select the parent field which has already been created and then enter the subfield details like in this example under guardian field mother name field is added as a subfield. To edit the signature and clause section click on edit under the heading. If you do not want to generate the signature and have your own signature which can be used the other option which is ignore the section leave blank space can be selected. Otherwise, you can select Use Template for Signature Space. If you want Fedina to generate signature, edit the clause section as required and select the color and size of font. Also, the signature role can be edited or up to three new signatures can be added. Save these footer preferences and the settings can be checked from preview which shows at the end of the page. Now, we have set the template for transfer certificate. Next step will be to generate the certificates for students who leave the institute. Open the transfer certificate link under academics in menu and click on generate certificate on the top right. You can either search the existing student by name or admission number. Otherwise, select the batch of the student or students you want to generate transfer certificate for. Click on the link of Generate Certificate in front of the former student details. You can also generate Transfer Certificate when you are archiving the student. It will show the same form. You will be asked to enter the customized fields and other details which are mapped to profile data of the student cannot be edited. And then click on Proceed to Certificate. The preview of the certificate will be shown and can be edited if required. Otherwise, click on Generate Transfer Certificate button and now you can print, download or delete it. The Generate Certificate can be seen from the option of Generate Transfer Certificates where it lists the former students and their relieving date with certificate download information. The Automatic Timetable Generator is a new plugin that creates timetables based on constraints and conditions defined for a batch or subject. In the existing Fedina timetable module, you must set up teachers for each timetable duration based on the settings that you have done. If you enable this plugin from Fedina main account, you will be able to see the option of auto allocation under manage timetable. Let us see a sample automatic timetable generation for a batch. Login as an admin or privileged employee and open the module of timetable. Ensure that the subjects are set for all or few batches for which you want to auto-generate the timetable. Let us say that we want to automatically generate timetable for all the batches. In this case, we will check that the subjects are created and number of weekly classes are set for each subject. New option of settings can be opened and for each subject, time preference when that subject should be appearing in the timetable that is after or before or within a duration can be set. You may also set consecutive classes which means if you want that the subject to appear more than once together for the week. Example, if you allow 
consecutive for subject 1 here and mention the value 2, the generator will try to allocate this subject 2 times in each day and together. These settings can be optionally set for each subject. After you have completed the subject setting, go back to the timetable and set the class timings. In this module, you set the slots and their duration. For example, here the default class set is created which is followed by the institution on each day except Friday. For Friday, it is created as a separate set as the class timings for Friday may differ. Once the class timings are set as required, check the start day of the week from the general settings before you set weekdays for the batch. Then for each batch, select the working days and change the class timing set for the days when it is not default. Before you start setting timetable, ensure that the subjects are set for each batch and the employees are assigned to each subject. Also, you can set timetable in two ways in Fedina now. First way is manually which is the existing way that is allocating each subject to each slot with teacher and the second way which is the new way is by auto generation. First way is the existing way of setting timetable in Fedina. If you want to generate timetable automatically you must follow some regulations. First step is to follow all above mentioned steps. Each subject should have only one employee assigned and other employees can be added later on by editing the timetable. You can visit the manage subject page once again to ensure that the number of weekly classes should be equal to the sum of all subjects weekly classes as set by you. Number of weekly classes will automatically show up based on the number of slots and the number of working days as set in manage class timings page. Now. Go back to the manage timetable page, give the duration for which you want to set the timetable for all batches. For example, the duration can be set for an academic year or a few months or even weeks. If all the allocations of subjects and employees are done, it will show the status as not allocated. Click on the timetable allocations and click on auto allocation. The seven conditions mentioned in the box must be satisfied for the allocation to be successful. Click on validate batches to check the batches which do not follow these conditions and resolve the issues before you actually generate timetable. In this example, it shows that one batch is not eligible for auto allocation and also mentions the rule which it does not satisfy. It will not allow you to select that batch unless the condition is changed as per the rule. Let's check the employee subject association and remove the extra employee for this subject in the mentioned batch. Now let us validate the batches eligible for auto allocation again. It shows that all batches are elig eligible for auto allocation now. Select one or more batches and click on auto allocate timetable. It will show the message of initiation of allocation and will also show the allocation status after a while. Now. You may check the allocations by viewing the timetable and make changes, edits if needed. In this way, you can automatically generate timetables for set of batches for a particular duration. Let's say you have a new set of batches next year and you want to allocate timetable for them. You just have to set the duration of the timetable in manage timetable and ensure all the rules are satisfied for the auto allocation to be successful.